Hi there, Marcus here. Um, just want to make a quick video again of uh, how to create your logo to appear on your receipt, uh, or for, on your receipt printer itself, or on your A4 uh, invoice on Fourpass. Okay, so I have a file, um, a ping file that I've created somewhere in Coral Draw or whatever you use, uh, right? And that's a simple file. It might be full graphics, etc., etc. Uh, but it's a basic file all right so in my case just for this demo I'm going to just uh, literally open it up and paint quickly I'm just dragging it into my paint program and there's my file um, as I saw earlier it is a PNG file ping file and I need it as a BMP file so I'm going to save it as and then specify that first of all it is a monochrome because your thermal printers typically uh, can only print black or white or uh, scales of gray. Um, you can then select monochrome bitmap and you can then save it as the name that you want. Now, for your receipts, you need the name to be 4 pause logo slip, all one word, 4 pause logo slip dot BMP. Okay, uh, and I'm going to save it like that. Okay, it says transparency will be lost. Yes, thank you and quality whatever whatever happy to be all right and then if i go back to my logo file or my folder uh, there's my logo slip bmp file and i can just double check and make sure that it it is what i want it to be okay now just on this point very important that we then see that the file is uh, called fourboss logo slip dot bmp sometimes customers make a mistake they uh, do not go and check the proper naming in my case here in Explorer, you can see I'm using uh, the file name extensions as showing. Let me take that off. Uh, and then you'll see it will just show 4 pause logo slip.bmp, but the type is, uh, sorry, logo slip, but the type will be a BMP or bitmap file. Okay. So in some cases, customers make a mistake and they go and rename that file then and they say, oh, okay, hang on, it's got to be BMP. And they do it like this. Okay. Uh, BMP over there and in fact what happens now is this file is called fourpaws logo slip dot BMP dot BMP okay so have a look and see when I enable file extensions again you'll see that that's exactly what I just said okay so don't do that okay it will just be I have the one BMP not two of them okay so I'm just going to take that out and then I also want to be able to use that same logo for my A4 uh, invoices if I am going to do in uh, for a for invoices I'm just copying that file quickly and pasting it and I need to rename that now to just be the correct name for the a4 now the correct name a4 is just without the slip okay so I'm just taking all of this out all right so it's just going to be four pause logo dot BMP so those are the two files that I need those two files need to be copied into your 4 pass folder. Uh, so on my computer over here, I'm going to copy it into a 4 pass folder and try again. Okay, good. So now everything is done. So to show you how it works, I'm just going to use 4 pass touch uh, as an example, uh, simply because I can show you the, the result of the logo quite easily. Okay, but the same concept applies in 4 pass scan and in 4 pass touch. So first of all, make sure that you've enabled the configuration and 4 uh touch. I press Option Menu and Control C and 4 pause Scan. I will log it and then just press Control C. And in there, then um, I will go and specify Print Logo. In other words, the logo is here must be on. Okay. And uh, in my example here, my A4 printer is that one, and that is what I would want to print onto the A4 printer, for instance. And you might have a situation where you say, no, I'm not going to do A4. Therefore, all of these will be off. There are other videos that will explain all the, the detailed configuration. But in this example, then, um, it will be working correctly for me for 4 pass scan and 4 pass touch. Okay. All right. So let me go and ring up a sale quickly. Uh, just going to ring up some items. And when I go to cash out table, you'll see immediately my logo is displaying at the top. And I know I'm happy and I can print and so forth. You might have to play around with the sizing and stuff. Don't make the logo too big. Remember now that the printer is typically 58 more wide and so on. It might be an idea to print it from uh, paint first. 
you know, print and then t- and then copy it into four parts. Um, you know, if you've got a logo that has been designed by somebody uh, that is uh, big enough to go and print on a poster uh, on the highway or a billboard on the highway, obviously four parts will try and shrink it down, and it will take a lot of time to sh- shrink it, and it will shrink it on every transaction that you're doing. So keep it small, make it sure that it's nice and simple, um, and then uh, you know, uh, test it and make sure that it's, it's what you want it to be. Enjoy.